Hi, my name is Erin and I work at New Jersey American Water. As the largest water and wastewater utility in the state, we provide residents with clean, safe, and reliable drinking water. Today, we're going to talk about pollution and how it can impact watersheds and ultimately your drinking water. To start off, do you know what a watershed is? A watershed is an area of land that drains or sheds water into a specific body of water. Every body of water has a watershed. Here in New Jersey, there are 20 different watershed management areas. Right now, we're in the Lower Delaware Water Region and ultimately, the water here will flow or shed to the Delaware River. Our Enviroscape model of a town will help us show you where pollution comes from and how you can help make a difference. But before we begin, do you know what pollution is? Pollution is the introduction of something that has harmful effects on the environment. There are two types of pollution, point source pollution and non-point source pollution. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, or the EPA, defines point source pollution as any single identifiable source of pollution from which pollutants are discharged, such as a pipe, ditch, ship, or factory smokestack. This type of pollution is easy to identify. As the name suggests, you are able to point to the source. Non-point source pollution is harder to identify and harder to address because it comes from many places all at once. Think about it this way. When it rains, the rainwater moves over and through the ground, carrying natural and human-made pollutants and depositing them into lakes, rivers, wetlands, coastal waters, and groundwaters. Let's take a closer look at the town we have here. Can you identify the different areas that are represented? What kind of pollutants do you think would impact each part of the town? Now that we've discussed various pollutants throughout our town, what do you think will happen when a heavy rainstorm hits? As it starts to rain, watch how the rainwater picks up the pollutants and drains them into the waterways. All of these pollutants are part of the pollution problem, but that doesn't mean we can never use them again. It just means we need to ensure we're using them in the right way. For example, you can still use fertilizer on your lawns, but be sure to read the directions and check the weather forecast before applying. If you apply fertilizer and then it rains, all that fertilizer is simply going to wash off your yard. There are all kinds of things we can do to help protect the local waterways and the water quality of these natural resources. Simple things you can do every day at your own home include never dumping anything down storm drains, composting your yard waste, avoiding pesticides when gardening, taking your car to the car wash instead of washing it in your driveway, 
making sure your car isn't leaking oil, picking up after your pet. Now you know more about watersheds and pollution. Visit us online for more lessons and activities.